Hi, I'm Pat Pavelka. Today's activity is to look at guided reading follow-up. Research tells us that we really want our students to get back into the books that we're using in guided reading group. And so what assignments can we give our students when they leave us from guided reading and go back to their seat? What assignment can we give them to get them back in these books? Now, obviously, a great assignment that I really would love my students to do is to go back in the book and reread it. But the problem is, I often will see this. Done, I already read it. So, are there certain assignments that we can give regardless of whether they're in chapter books or whether they're in very beginning books that just are labeling kinds of books? Are, what kind of assignments can we give them on a daily basis that's quick and easy? What we don't want to do is spend our weekends and evenings coming up with all these different assignments. So here's one assignment that you can give any time of the year with any level with any book. It is a piece of paper folded into four. It can be different sizes, lined or unlined. So here's a big piece, fold it into four. This size works really well, fold it into four. Lined paper, fold it into four. Now, let's look at examples. Let's say you're working with a very beginning book, GR. So on every page are just things that start with GR. So their student's assignment is, when you go back to your seat, take your, and we call these four boxes, take your boxes, and in each box draw one thing in the book that started with GR. It gets them back in the book, I expect correct spelling because the words are right here. Now you can challenge and say on the back, come up with your own four GR words. This book is called Green Grass. It's another very simple book. We'll start with youngers, then move up to olders. The sheep was hungry, the goat was hungry, the cow was hungry, the donkey was hungry, and they all want green grass. So they go back to their seat and they tell you on the piece of paper four animals that were in the book. They could also tell you four different things that are green. They could go on the back and give you four animals that were not in the book that also like green grass. So do you see what you can do is on one side, information in the book, on the back side, take them out of the book. The giant pumpkin. This is a giant pumpkin that grows in a garden. And then the parents, Mr. and Mrs. Pip, decide all the different things that the pumpkin could be because it's so big. So, let's take a big piece of paper. Go back to your seat, and Tell me four things that they were gonna turn the pumpkin into, and then write about it. They were going to turn it into a tractor, a car, a double bed, a crib for the baby. Do you see how it makes them go back in the book and reread? Frog and Toad. Go back in the book and find four things that Frog and Toad like to do in their garden turn it over, what other four things could Frog and Toad do in their garden? So at this piece of paper, we're typically looking at picture and sentences. At this level, we're looking more for just pictures and labels. Amazing Journeys. It's a little book, but it's a difficult book. It's all about animals that migrate. So for example, we have turtles, we have salmon, monarch butterflies. So go back to your seat. Pick four animals from the book and give us three facts in each box that you learned about the animal. Novels. Take an animal, uh, a character from the book. Give me four words that describe the character and then give me a quote to back it up. So you see you've got the line paper. So when students say, how long does it have to be? You can say that long for each one. You could even say, they're working on a chapter in Maniac McGee. Give me a summary, what happened? First, next, then, last. So it doesn't matter what level you're working with. It doesn't matter if the book is a labeling book, or book that has text, or a nonfiction, or a novel, four boxes. Gets them back in the book, and lets you work with anything, vocabulary, characters, things that are happening in the book makes it easy for students, but also you. The best part of this is when your students will say to you, oh, what are we gonna do now in our boxes when we leave you today? And that's when you can say, I don't know. You take the, square, the paper back, you have four things 
that you can use from the book to write about. You decide. So before we leave you today, we have had a very well-behaved guest in the studio today. Hello. And Joey would like a cookie because he was such a good person today. Yes. Would you like another cookie? Come over here and say hello to everybody. Yes. Yes. Did you watch today? Were you in the office today? Were you in the studio? You were a great studio helper today. Yes. You, would you like one of these cookies? Yes. Nobody even knew you were here. In the studio. Did you enjoy the studio today? Yes. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Say goodbye. <laughs>